Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of March 15th through March 17th. That's Friday through Saturday. This is a general energy reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. All the information is in the description box below. Um, also, this, is, this reading is not specific to anything. This is not love specific, science specific, career specific. It's not, it's just a big old general reading. So whatever spirit would like to discuss with us today is what is gonna come up. Also, because energies are fluid and time is an illusion, this can be for any time period in your life. This could be something that's happening now. This could be something that's happening, coming on down the pipeline for you. This could be something that we went through in the past. But also, because it's a general reading, reading it may not be anything that, you've, that resonates with you at this particular time. Okay? Um, but either way, this is whatever spirit wants to discuss. There's some clarity that's good, that could be coming through for you in this situation, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I hope everyone had a fantastic week. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Let's just go right ahead and get into it. Mm, tea. <laughs> okay. And yes, I do start my day with tea because I don't really like to... Um, drink coffee on an empty stomach anymore I try not to do that so because this is the first thing I'm this is the first thing I'm doing in my day I'm having tea but if you want to have coffee you are more than welcome to have coffee once I finish this I'm gonna make breakfast and have my coffee <laughs> okay here we go hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of March 15th through the 17th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's see what we've got for the weekend. Let's give this a few shuffles here, March 15th through the 17th. Twenty nineteen. We are halfway through March, guys. Like, where is the time going? The spring equinox is coming up soon. I believe that happens on the 20th if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but that's super exciting. I cannot wait for the spring and the warmer weather. Um, I mean, I really do enjoy my solitude being, you know, in my safe space and whatnot, but I'm ready to enjoy my solitude with nature <laughs> outdoors, <laughs> yeah. Go sit out in the grass in the park, take a nice walk, you know, that sort of thing. All right, let's see what we've got. March 15th through the 17th, please, spirit, best messages. The magician. The 15th through the 17th, please, spirit, best messages, please. 15th, those are right side up, okay. Well, check it out, because <laughs> I can see that the King of Cups came out here. So if you're feeling super emotional right, right now, like I am, and maybe like the rest of us are, <laughs> there you go, okay? There's your, there's your validation. But we'll get into it in a second. Underneath the deck you have, whew, justice. Justice, justice. Turn these right side up. Okay, we have... Judgment, the King of Cups, the Lovers. We have the Magician and then two Mystery Cards. The Hierophant and the Eight of Wands. Wow. Look at all this major arcana, you guys. All cards. No, I'm sorry. There are, out of the seven cards, 
that are here right now. Two of them are minor arcana between the King of Cups and the Eight of Wands. But, okay, I can already feel, I already feel like this is um, an extension uh, to the reading that I did yesterday, both on Instagram live. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so at divine underscore conversations. The link to that is in the description box below. I did a live reading yesterday before I went live on YouTube for happy hour. Um, yeah. So, and this is a, this is definitely an extension of that. So what were we talking about in those readings? In those readings, we were talking about Mercury retrograde, uh, Pisces season, and the effects that it's happening on us right have or excuse me that it's having on us right now um it wasn't like a specific mercury retrograde reading but i was just looking into the energies channeling the energies of the collective and that was that's what was coming through information about how that things were shifting for all of us and the main message the main message between those two readings those two collective readings between um happy hour and instagram live you can check out my Instagram live. It's only going to be there until about 5.30 today or Friday the 15th, okay? Because it's a, it's a live thing. It only lasts for 24 hours. However, happy hour will be there in perpetuity. Um, oh, which reminds me, I have to date it so that people can distinguish. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I digress. Um, the main theme was that we're going through a shakeup. We're being asked to look deeper into our lives and um, come to terms with or understand the motives that have been driving us in certain directions up until this point. And it did feel like a kind of a tower moment. Um, the tower was at the bottom of the deck when I finished shuffling on Instagram Live. And I looked at the bottom of the deck initially to make sure the cards weren't upside down. But there I found the tower and I decided to speak on it because it resonated with the energy that I was feeling. We, again, we don't have the tower energy here. Uh, we'll see, well, we don't have it yet. We'll see if it comes out with the clarification section. And it's funny because I just had this funny thought, maybe I'm speaking it into existence, like I'm calling it out, but, <laughs> which would be even funnier. But. It, it's not, it doesn't really feel like that much of a tower moment. And even spirit is saying, yes, it kind of is though, because it's a restructuring that's happening. That is what justice is representing here. So instead of a tower moment, it's more of a justice moment. You're being asked or you're being guided to look deeper into your motives behind why you have been pursuing certain things in your life up until this point and realign them. We're going through a realignment process. Again, the justice card, judgment, okay? Um, Judgment, King of Cups, the lovers. So, judgment is calling us to, it, it will, ascension. We're ascending, okay? And we've been going through that for a long time, but what does that mean specifically right now? Like I said, you're being asked to look deeper into your situation. What has been motivating you? Why have you been pursuing a certain direction, a certain quote, calling? Okay, and I, I put calling in quotes, but it really was a calling. That's what Spirit said, um, and that's why I said a calling. Um, but what were the intentions behind that? What were the what were the motives? What was the driving factor? And because we're ascending to this fifth dimensional reality or fifth dimensional vibration, those of us that are choosing to go in that direction, um, this we're being asked this. We're being asked to take some responsibility here so say you've been pursuing a certain career and you no longer feel connected with that and so now you're going back down you're going down into the core of that and you're saying to yourself okay what's really driving me here why have i really been pursuing this outlet and you come to find you come or at least you come to realize that the motivating factor actually is not in alignment with you. It has to do with um, maybe acceptance issues or um, trying to prove something to someone. 
Um, it could be, it really could be anything, but I'm speaking towards anything that would be out of alignment with your true self, okay? And from there, you're asked to make a choice. The lovers, choosing vice over virtue. But in order to make that choice and manifest something with the, high, with the magician that is in much greater alignment with you and your higher self, the hierophant here, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to get into a deeper alignment. You have to figure out, okay, well, what is my greatest, what is in greater alignment for me? The lovers. Choosing vice over virtue. Have you been choosing vice over virtue? Vice being the opinions of others, um, the influence of others that push you in a certain direction that may, not, that may not be a direction you really want to go in. Or are you choosing virtue, what it is you truly want? And the Eight of Wands here is speaking to the quickness or the speed or the clear air that you have now. Things might be feeling really emotional right now, okay? It might be a really emotional time, but... It's not an emotionally stagnant time. It's an emotionally, um, uh, there's emotional movement here. You have the ability, even though your emotions might be really high, you have the ability to see deeper into them because they're so high. And so thus you can answer this calling of judgment here or ascension in order to balance the scales bring more justice into your life, align with a truer, more authentic version of you than you may have been in the past. And it's not to say that you should now feel bad or feel down or um, think less of yourself because you may have been going in a direction that was less than the ideal alignment for you. Um, because ultimately, the path you walked in the past has set you up for where you are currently. So in other words, you're exactly where you need to be to accomplish what it is you did you accomplish you came here to accomplish. Make sense? Emotional maturity. Taking responsibility. Because at some point you can't blame everyone, you know. You can't blame everyone else. At some point, you have to look at look at it and say, you know what? I'm driving the ship now. So let's make a few adjustments. It's actually a really beautiful energy, even though, yes, it can be. It's, it might be a little difficult. It's still a very beautiful energy, OK? All right, so let's get some clarification here. I want to clarify judgment specifically. We're going to start with judgment and then we're going to work our way through. <laughs> okay, well, the star caught my attention. That's on the bottom of the deck right now. More major arcana, but um, healing. Wish fulfillment, but you see, this is wish fulfillment. It could t potentially be wish fulfillment in the w in a form that you never even knew was possible until you got it was possible or was an option until you got into greater alignment. This really could be the wish fulfillment you had been always working towards, but didn't know that you were out of alignment with. Okay, so. Judgment specifically, this higher calling that we're experiencing here. What is this spirit? Just clarify judgment for us, please. Justice. <laughs> Bringing justice into our lives with the Page of Pentacles. All right, and see, the Page of Pentacles came out last night in um, the Instagram live reading. 
Page of Pentacles has been speaking to um, emotional, not not emotional maturity. I'm sorry. I was just looking at the the King of Cups, but yeah, okay. You can say it's it is currently speaking to a sense of emotional maturity because it's a choice to step into this new reality and basically start all over, even though you're not really starting all over. You're starting over from a new vibrational point of view, i.e. you're getting your footing again, okay? Um, you're like a toddler that's learning to walk again, right? Um, the Page of Pentacles is has been representing this for some time this new reality this level up you know um the page of pentacles represents commitment honesty hard work um potentially sacrifice but so for some of you there could be some sacrifice that you're making here but again judgment is the justice <laughs> that's being brought into your life this is the universe um What's the word I'm looking for? Calling us to, yeah, calling us to balance the scales once and for all. Um, we're needing to, because if you're if you're choosing to, if you have chosen to ascend to this new Earth reality that w some of the collective are staying are moving towards, while some of the collective are staying in the three dimensional paradigm, you can't reside within the higher vibrational states without releasing the lower vibrational dense energies that you may have been holding on to therefore justice is the balancing of the scales so that you can continue to ascend okay okay so next i want to go to the lovers here what is this choice that we are needing to make? Please clarify, Spirit. This choice between vice or virtue, this also greater, potentially greater alignment within ourselves. True. The Knight of Cups. <laughs> oh my goodness. And underneath the deck is judgment. <laughs> wow. Okay. So check it out. The Knight of Cups has been coming out quite a bit lately as well. The Knight of Cups has been speaking to, at least as far as my, uh, my readings are, cons are concerned, um, on behalf of the collective that I, the, the the part of the collective that I channel for. The Knight of Cups has been speaking to the cosmic heart awakening that we've all been going through. Okay, getting back to the center of yourself, getting back to the core of yourself, living from a more heart-centered point of view, living from um, a place of a more open heart, potentially um, living more with your heart on your sleeve, if you want to think of it that way, living from a place of greater vulnerability, if you want to think of it that way. Um, wow. So ultimately, the lovers is not just a choice, but is also a um, greater alignment between yourself, greater union with yourself between the masculine and feminine energies within, bringing those energies to balance out in greater, uh, um, to a greater degree and then living your life from there. So basically you kind of would be starting your life over in a sense because you have integrated that much more of yourself. Okay. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, all right. So, okay. The magician is next, but you know what? I want to do the magician with the hierophant together. Okay. Because this is what this is what this was saying to me was the you're you're manifesting something that is in greater alignment with who you truly are at the core of your being at a higher point from the higher point of view from the fifth dimensional point of view because i do often see the hierophant being the fifth card of the major arcana um, as a representation of your higher self okay at least that's one of the interpretations that i personally have for it so you're you're manifesting something within greater alignment to your 
fifth dimensional self. And there are more pieces of yourself in higher and higher dimensions, but we are in the process or we are consciously focused right here, right now in this time space reality, we are focused on the ascension from third dimensional through fourth dimensional, ultimately to fifth dimensional reality to then continue ascending later on, but this is the current focus, okay? So, clarification. The magician and the hierophant here, please, spirit. What is this representing? What else can you tell us about this manifestation that's in alignment with our higher selves? Ooh. Okay. Wow. You guys. <laughs> Underneath the deck is the king of cups. This is getting kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. But then we have the ace of wands and something was up. Oh, the knight of wands. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the knight of wands typically does speak to hastiness. It's true. That's very true. So you may have some energies of feeling a little hasty, like you just want to get moving here. But that's also an effect of this eight of wands energy here with this quick movement. Uh, communication also, but this is communication with your higher self, communication with yourself in general. On the flip side, or from a different point of view, I see the Knight of Wands as the light worker card, the torch bearer card, the energy of someone that ha that is living from their own truth and authenticity, from their own spirit, from their own fire, and are coming in to share and spread the light with the world, okay? Now, the Knight of Wands, with the Ace of Wands is speaking to a new creative direction is speak th that is in greater alignment with your light working mission or with the, 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 the fire of your spirit, the fire of your soul. You don't have to identify as a, as a light worker to be a part of this. <coughs> what this Knight of Wands energy is representing collectively is truth, honesty, integrity, and um, a connection with yourself, okay? Um, a, a, a deeper embodiment or a greater embodiment of your spirit, your soul. With the King of Cups energy here, this specifically in this instance is speaking to emotional purging, but also emotional maturity. Growing up stepping up, stepping into your, your mission. Uh, specifically, this could be for someone out there or this just could be an example that you can use, but growing out of some of maybe the childish aspects of why you have been pursuing something, whether that be because um, you want to impress certain people, maybe fam friends or family, um, for the sheer fact that you said you were going to go down this ro road when you were like earlier in, in life maybe when you were a kid and but that doesn't resonate with you anymore but like you're forcing yourself to do it because you said you were going to do it doing something because you s maybe just merely because you studied it say in college or something but now it no longer resonates with you because things have shifted so much and this is not like this is something you can plan for right it's not like you're you're just being wishy-washy with this Knight of Wands energy. Maybe there is some wishy-washy energy going on, but it, this feels deeper than just, eh, on a whim. Eh, I'm bored. I just don't want to do this anymore. It's much deeper than that. It's like, okay, no, I'm, I've been pursuing this. I'm, pur I'm pursuing this. I've been pursuing it for so long, but it doesn't feel right anymore. That's different than saying, yeah, I just, I just don't care. I just don't want to do it anymore. Let's try something else. It's like, no, it's not even close to that. It's much deeper. This doesn't feel right anymore. This is not in alignment with me anymore. And when you're in that energy, it's a little scarier because it's like, well, shit, what do I do now? What is in alignment with me? What am I supposed to be doing here? And I've been wasting all this time, energy, and money on pursuing something that ultimately isn't even in alignment with me, that's your ego, okay? That's your ego. And no, you haven't wasted anything. It's all part of the process. But now is the time to grow up and show up, King of Cups, and take responsibility. It's not your fault 
if you find yourself in a position where it's like you're, you're drastically changing direction, I mean, it's, it, sure, take responsibility for it, but it's not something to beat yourself up about. It's not your fault. You're not a bad person because of it, okay? But that's where the emotional maturity comes into play because ultimately you're still here so as long as you're still on this earth, you can do anything you damn well please. If you want to change direction, change direction. And if people have something to say about it, screw them. It's none of their business, <laughs> you know? Unless they have, okay, because I just heard, unless they have some sort of vested interest in you, but still, if it's not in alignment with you, and it's not in alignment ultimately with where you are working towards being, i.e. these this fifth dimensional energy, blah, blah, blah. Ultimately, it's going to work out. So don't stress about it. Okay. Finally, I want to clarify this eight of wands energy here. What is this eight of wands spirit? Holy moly. You have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is a bit of reassurance, guys. Because um, I know we've all been really going through it right now. We've all been going through it. And this energy is really heavy, is really rough. But what's happening here is... This may feel, now this may feel like a slow and arduous process, but especially during this Pisces season energy where emotions are really, really high, you're having a clear opportunity to break free from the energies of unrequited love or boredom, absolutely could be what we're talking about here, represented by the Four of Cups into a greater form of wish fulfillment. And it's interesting because this Nine of Cups that's talking about this wish fulfillment the Nine of Cups is talking, it's giving me almost a Nine of Pentacles energy where, you know, you're set, you're good, you're content, you're happy and whole within an, in and of yourself, within yourself, which is ultimately setting you up for the Ten of Cups. I'm seeing the progression from the Nine to the Ten, and I'm seeing actually the progression of from the Four of Cups, right? And especially in this deck, it's even more... Um, well, especially in this deck, it shows how instead of focusing on the three cups normally that the person would be focusing on, they're focused on that ace. And that focus is on loving the self. That's what I see with the four of cups in this deck, which is leading you towards emotional fulfillment, monetary fulfillment, maybe monetary satisfaction. My right ear is ringing. <laughs> but contentment. And... This is the contentment in being with yourself, right? Being content within yourself, which ultimately steps you up or leaves you in the position to then reach that 10. But you have to go through this emotional clearing, this emotional purging, this emotional healing, the emotional maturity. But all of this is on the Eight of Wands, which is speaking to uh, clear, decisive action, clear, concise action, but also um, swift movement, open air, open space, no obstacles within the way, in your way towards working towards this. I know that doesn't feel right. It feels exactly opposite to what is actually happening. But if you're in a super emotional state here, That's the effects of the emotional cleansing that's happening, okay? I'm gonna light some no, I'll do it after. Okay, so just get through it. Just just power through it. You'll be fine. Everything is going to work out just fine. Okay, guys. 
So now we are going to get into the Oracle section and I want to start with the Animal Spirit Guides. The Animal Spirit Deck. And then I believe I'm going to close the reading with the, whis not the Whispers of Love, the, um, gosh, why did I say that? Maybe there's an extra message in that, but I was going to close the reading with the Lightworker Oracle. Don't rush this alignment. Don't rush it. Take your time. You don't have to rush anything, okay? Just maintain your focus on the alignment. Mm -hmm. All right. Best messages, please, from the animal spirits for the weekend, March 15th through the 17th. Best messages, please, spirit. Here we go. Yes. Yep, yep, yes. We've got Beaver. So I'm having to re-record the oracle section of our reading here because my mic, <laughs> the battery from my microphone died <laughs> while I was doing, um, while I was reading the beaver card. And now, of course, I didn't realize it until after the fact. And so I've already drawn all of our um, oracle cards. So unfortunately, you guys don't get to watch me draw them, but I'm, I, I really, I don't want to miss this part of the reading because it's so perfect, okay? So we started with the animal spirit guides and we got beaver. So I'm going to read, I'm going to read this again. So beaver, hard worker, loyal, tireless, family first. The beaver personality is a welcomed sight. These good-natured and dependable creatures have infinite love and enthusiasm for family and express it by way of the earth element, providing a home and financial stability. Although a beaver doesn't usually initiate a project, once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. The beaver card appears when the task at hand requires your long-term steady effort. It can also signify that it's time for some karma yoga or selfless service. When in balance, beaver is happy and does meaningful work. When out of balance, beaver feels useless and worn out. To bring into balance, one needs physical labor or to practice some selfless service. Now, the thing about the beaver card here is that this is reminding us that we cannot rush this project. I understand that it's really difficult, it's arduous, it's painful, it's but in me saying that spirit just said longevity it is ex it's adding to our longevity it's extending our livelihood and i know <laughs> i'm sitting here like oh really spirit i really you're only extending our time here but it's not always going to be this difficult okay once we go through this purging this building process here with the beaver and we get to a certain state, it's going to be much better, okay? So then, after Beaver, I moved on, and if you remember, a while um, when, when I was thinking about what I was going to do with the, um, the Oracle section, I, um, I said I, I, might, I, I would pull from the Whispers of Love, and so I took that as a sign, and... Um, I pulled a card and we got like attracts like, okay? And that's speaking to the fact that you're moving into a high, higher vibrational reality. And because of that, you need to match that vibra vibration. You need, to be, um, you need to be able to harmonize with that, with that vibration. So because of that, you need to release any of the lower um, vibrational energies or, or densities that are holding you in that lower vibration. You can't be a match to that vibr uh, a new vibration and you can't reside within that vibration if you're still holding on to lower density situations. It's not even like, oh, um, we don't want that kind of energy around us. It's not even like that. It's more like you cannot vibrate at that rate if you're holding on to lower density items. You just can't. 
Okay, so like attracts like. You you are working. You are in the process of becoming a vibrational match <clears throat> to higher densities. Okay. Finally, I pulled a card from the Lightworker Oracle, and it could not be more perfect. Card number 23, which boils down to a five. And if you've been following me, if you've been paying attention to, you know, to me, to what I've been saying lately, I've been seeing fives constantly. Like within the last few days, I've been seeing five, five, five all the time. Okay. Just over and over. So there's a lot of change that's happening. Um, but it's this card of initiation by water. <clears throat> and on the surface, it seems perfect. Why? We're in, P we're in Pisces season. The King of Cups came out twice in this reading it's we have the knight of cups okay lots of emotional purgy stuff happening nine of cups four of cups ten of cups but then also it's perfect because of this your spiritual path this lifetime involves you becoming a clear channel for spirit you are meant to communicate with higher guidance from the loving spiritual worlds your initiation by water will, will further open you, your receiving channels, dislodge lower vibrational material, and sensitize you to the subtle realms of light. You are being opened to a world of which you may only have dreamed. Such is its beauty, grace, and love. Let's read a, read a little more of this. Situations have been arising in your world that evoke emotional reactions and challenge your opinions and beliefs. You may not feel in control. You may feel like your world, your own emotions, have become like a stormy sea in which you are tossed about and are doing your best not to drown in the chaos. You are not to fear it. It is stirring that which has been held within so it can be released. The storm will pass and the waters of your emotions shall become more serene. Um, let's see. Wow, you know what? I really, I just want to read this whole thing. You could compare the process of a glass of water with muddy sediment. I'm sorry. You could compare the process to a glass of water with muddy sediment at the bottom. The water appears clear as the mud is left to lie. Yet once that water gets stirred up, the mud rises. Then it can be filtered out and the water will be clearer than ever before. The turbulence was a step that led to greater clarity. The waters in the glass are comparable to your emotional waters, and the fixed opinions, beliefs, or long-held emotional patterns based on unresolved past pain are the sediment at the bottom of the glass. Hold the glass up to the light. Can the light shine through the sediment? No, but it can be seen through the clear water. Remove the sediment, and the water will be clear enough to allow light to shine through without obstruction or distortion. The light is the light of spirit, of higher truths, unconditional love, of peace, wisdom, and joy. You know that you are meant to be a channel for the truths of the spirit. As an, as an advanced soul, you are capable of successfully enduring the process of filtering out whatever would obstruct the clear flow of higher consciousness through your being. Perhaps, tired of, mo of emotional swings, you have suppressed your emotions and believe you feel nothing, yet you are acting out unwanted behaviors or suffering from apparently random physical accidents or maladies, which is your subconscious way of expressing your hidden feelings. <clears throat> In, if this is the case, you are encouraged to be kind to yourself, to give yourself time to reflect upon your true feelings. Releasing emotional blockages doesn't have to be a drawn-out process. If it is often the resistance and fear of the feelings within that is more difficult than expressing the actual feeling underneath that, resi that resistance and finally letting it go. Whatever pain you are feeling right now is a sign of emotional healing and recovery. You are encouraged to accept the process, your feelings, especially those that do not make much sense to you. I'm sorry. You are encouraged to accept and process your feelings, especially those that do not make much sense to you. Your emotional truths will make more sense as you heal. If you can get help from a healer, therapist, counselor, or mentor, they will support you and help you resolve your part of the process more swiftly. 
know that even though it challenges you at times, this is a good thing that is taking place, necessary for you to more fully receive the divine connection for which you yearn. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really glad that my microphone only cut out during the oracle section because there is no way I could go back and recreate <laughs> and, you know, re-talk about all of this. So there you have it, guys. Um, and unfortunately, I, you know I don't like to pre-pull cards. I like to do it all on camera. Unfortunately, that just did not happen today. Sorry about that. But, I mean, it happened for the most part throughout the reading. It's just it was the oracle section. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Hang in there. We're going to be okay. Everything is going to be fine. We're going to get through this. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Yeah, I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Take care. Mwah! Bye.